welcome to the mysterious underground tunnels of Tauriga. According to legend, these tunnels connected the castle of Tauriga with Tauriga Manor. You can decide whether to believe that or not, but a virtual tour can help you get acquainted with the wonderful city of Tauriga. So without further delay, let's go. Oh, don't be afraid. We're flying high. In front of you is a panoramic view of Tauriga. Today we will be visiting the various sites you see before you. Just look around. What a wonderful way to spend the day. So without wasting more time, let's teleport ourselves to the castle of Tauriga. Finally, we're here. Tauriga Castle is a truly spectacular beauty. In the beginning of the 19th century, not far from here, was the border between Tsar Russia and Prussia. The representatives of authorities used to meet in this castle. The Tsar military was housed here. Civilians and book smugglers were kept in prison, and it was even used as a customs office. Later, it was turned into a castle characterized by its romantic Renaissance style of architecture. Most of its architectural heritage has remained up to this day, and today Tauriga Regional Museum is home to a wide spectrum of historical, archaeological, ethnographical, and natural exhibitions, as well as a photo gallery. Wow, so many great things. Oh, here's the hotel called Banga. In its cellars, you can find swimming pools, saunas, and places where hydroelectric turbines and motors were stored before the war. The falling water turned the turbines and provided electricity to the whole city and its surrounding villages. At some point, one of its shareholders started to build a textile factory called Rubus, but the company went bankrupt and construction plans came to an end. That's how Bunga Dam was born. Wow! What is this building? It's the Hirsches Gitkenes motorized mill that was built next to the Jura River in 1922. Steam machines and electric engines used to operate here. At some point, even a tombstone workshop was here. The Fachwerk, or timber frame construction, and some valuable equipment has also remained. Wow, holy moly! But let's travel further. Still, so many interesting things to do. There, we've arrived. This is the location of the signing of the Convention of Taurigen. This armistice had an important impact on European history. Because of it, in 1812, resistance against Napoleon in Prussia and Russia started. As a commemoration of the Convention's 100-year anniversary, a memorial was built, though it was sadly destroyed after World War II. Fortunately, it was rebuilt recently. But let's forget the war. Let's go and relax a bit. Taurai Adventure Park is the most visited site in the land surrounding Tauriga. Imitation defense walls on the hill fort remind us of the battles of our ancestors. While in four watchtowers, fires were lit as enemies approached. Today, one can have a wonderful time here in six different adventure routes among the trees. Have a blast on inflatable rubber tubes or even go on a safari. Then, after a long day, have an extraordinary sleepover in a treehouse. Is that really everything? Well, no. Let's return slowly to the roots of it all. Tauriga arose from a chic and truly luxurious mansion, at least in those times. In different historical periods, it belonged to different lords. The majority of the buildings were destroyed in war and post-war periods. So one of the most valuable parts remaining of this mansion is its garden. Curious explorers interested in the remains of the mansion can wander here today. Now, let's go to the end. Well, my friends, that's all this time. My tale ends here, back in this mysterious tunnel. I hope I didn't annoy you too much and that the trip was pleasant. So many things happened here in the honorable town of Tauriga. Goodbye 
and see you in the next adventure.